welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline Lopez. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix your jeans. And I'm going to show you two different things that I do to my jeans uh, to make them fit better for me. Now I am short and I do have larger thighs to say it nicely. Um, so what that does is um, there is friction in between the uh, thigh portion of my jeans and it obviously tears eventually over time. So I'm going to teach you a very quick and easy way to fix that. Now for that you will need a sewing machine and for my second one I am going to be cutting um, my jeggings, actually not even jeans, they're jeggings um, that are too long for me. Again, because I am really, really short, I do need to do an ankle cut on them and I'll show you how to do that. Let me know if you want me to also uh, film a video on how to hem your jeans and maybe how to turn a regular jean into a skinny jean. Again, also because I am very short, what is a skinny jean to um, most people still ends up being a little bit longer where my ankles are because of the proportion so let me know if you want that video in the comments down below also don't forget to subscribe to my channel I have many more fun videos to come I have a lot of DIYs coming up for the holidays and um, I also would like to share more recipes with you part of those recipes that I do want to share with you I want to share with you today how I make my iced tea concentrate so that I can have cold tea during the week. Now, I am going to be doing um, the iced tea concentrate, and I'm sorry, that was a mouthful, um, with my uh, Teamy tea. I did get this set from Teamy, and I've been loving it. I love the taste. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to get cold iced tea from this for about two to three days, depending on your personal preference. Now let's start first with um, doing the ankle cut on my jeggings. Now I did already have this portion cut because again it is a lot that I am cutting off. Uh, you do see here where I have a pin. I did put them on and I just put the pin where I wanted the front cut to be. So I am just um, doing a cut of the front portion and I am making sure not to cut the inseam and those are the same seams on the side. Now since this is a high-low ankle cut, uh, you just have to decide how long you want the back side to be and it'll just be a straight cut across and you can just um, cut over where it's not perfect um, these are already washed so after you wash them this is kind of how they'll look and all you have to do is cut off any excess threads that are falling off and then they'll stop um, coming out that way and you're going to do the same to the back side um, I'm sorry the other leg I did line it up and I just didn't line it up top to bottom I lined um, the seams on the side the pocket and the area that would be like where your crotch is uh, just to make sure that it is straight and then I'm just repeating the exact same process in the front and then I'm going to cut the back side and I did try to make them as even as I could um, again you can always uh, make corrections once you did the first cut they don't have to be 100% perfect no one is going to look at you and say hey they look crooked nobody really um, does that because they're at the bottom of your legs um, but this is very easy to correct and here is how it looks um, again this is something that if you think it's still too long you can always go back in um, just cut it again now for the team let me start off first by saying that this can be done with um, any tea you're basically just going to brew a really strong batch and then just add water to it the measurement will be depending on what tea you use I make my teamy tea with one teaspoon for this whole tumbler so I'm doubling the recipe I'm doing two teaspoons for the tumbler and I'm going to brew it a total of three times using the exact same leaves because you can use these leaves up to three times 
and I am using my tumbler to brew my tea in even if it's for the concentrate because it has a very convenient strainer whenever I'm not drinking tea I like to put fruit or lemon in there and just drink my daily water from it because again that strainer makes it super convenient and the bottom also comes off so you can put extra tea leaves um, in there or vitamins or anything if you are on the go. But I think the most important thing that I can tell you about my Timmy tea is that I have been feeling great. This may be TMI, but I have IBS and this has helped with my bloating and my stomach aches. Also, it is 100% natural and all of the ingredients are FDA approved. Um, I have only been drinking it for a week. I am trying it for a total of 30 days. So check back so that I can tell you how much better I'm feeling. Um, also, I do have a code that you can use. I will leave all of that information in the description as well as kind of the recipe for the concentrate. I also love that this is not like a lose weight quick gimmick. Um, it is more for your gut health. So that means a lot to me because again, I am a person that suffers a lot from um, gut issues. So don't forget to check out their website and use my code to save 25% off. Now on to fixing our jeans. Um, I am using this fusible interfacing and it has to be the one that you can iron. It does have kind of a soft and a rough edge and the rough one is the one that we're going to iron. So cut out a small piece that'll fit um, the whole area and just trim it so that it covers the entire piece at first I had cut it too small uh, but then I ironed on the correct size um, now what you're going to do is you're gonna set your sewing machine so that you can do the zigzag pattern and it is going to be a little tricky getting your pants in the sewing machine but once you get it in there it's going to be a lot of straight um, zigzags and then you're going to use your reverse setting on your sewing machine so that you can do it back and forth back and forth in a vertical horizontal and diagonal pattern um, so just again you're going to repeat that and basically what you're going to do is you're pretty much doing the weave of the fabric um, but in zigzag form and to make this work better um, you do have to leave it as one long continuous seam and what that means is you're never going to take it off and rip it so you're just going to keep it going you're just going to move your fabric around that's why it's a lot of back and forth using that reverse setting on the sewing machine to keep it continuous you are just going to lift up the foot pedal um, just a little bit move the fabric over again just a little bit so that the next stitch will go right next to it um, also make sure to go all the way over the interfacing don't stop at the interfacing continue um, going for just a little bit and again proof of how clumsy I am I was spilling my tea all over me because I am doing these on dark wash jeans, I am just using a navy blue thread. Um, again, depending on the color of your jeans, you can either use a baby blue for light wash. And then I did see at Walmart, and I did buy it, but it didn't match. They have denim colored thread now, and it's actually cheaper than regular thread at Walmart. Maybe because it has a little bit less, but it did say that it was heavy duty. So I'm going to try that next it just they didn't have one that matched i'm going to just let you kind of watch my back and forth if you see me mouthing it is because i am obviously singing oh and i wanted to tell you that the big packet of interfacing um which has three yards only cost me a dollar 88 at walmart i used to have some but i just couldn't find it but now i have plenty to fix all the jeans in my home and all the jeans in the world And 
here is one leg down. You can see how it looks on the opposite side. And now we're going to work on the next leg. And let me tell you, this one came out much better. The more you do it, the better you get at it. And here is the final leg. You can see that this one looks much better. And that is kind of what they look like and where they'll touch. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you want me to film the other video on how to fix your jeans. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have many more uh, new videos to come. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bad way